Hello, my name is Jason, and this is a reading, readings. I've been keeping journals since I was 20 years old, and I kept one all of 2019. I can't figure out, I've been driving myself crazy, which one to start with. Like, it really fucking matters, right? Like, you give a fuck. I know it, but it's the, it's the, so you know what? It's journal entries or writing pieces. Fucking Jason. Hey! All right, I'm going to go with, uh, let me read you that quote. It says, the only life-giving answer is to divorce, divorce oneself from society, to exist without roots to set out on that uncharted journey into the rebellious imperatives of the self. In short, whether the life is criminal or not, the decision is to encourage the psychopath in oneself. Wish I could say I wrote that, but it is Norman, Norman Mailer in the White Negro, 1956, I think. Jason, fuck cares, man. No, and I had another quote, yes. One more quote. This is fucking awesome. Not other than uh, Musashi himself. Uh, this quote is not from the Book of Five Rings. But it's from Musashi. Best strength. Best thing I've heard. Check it out. To hold it together when everyone else would understand if you fell apart. That's true strength. Is it not? Is it not? You can tell me. You can tell me a better one. You no. Know, let me read it again. Uh, great, great. Musashi. You, you should know who Musashi is. You know. Sword saint in Japan from 1584 to 1645. Killed over 60 men in duels. One with a wooden and The other guy had a sword. To hold it together when everyone else would understand if you fell apart and keep it together, obviously. That's true strength. That's okay, that kicks off the things that are going to work. Now, we're going to go into uh, my stuff. So I've got so much, a lot of it. I'm just starting with 10 pieces at a time, 10 writing pieces, and maybe 10 journal entries. See how it goes. So far, I haven't fucking exploded. Or anything. Okay. This is this fancy shit I do too. Funny, but let's get up. Okay. Beating the drums of war until I pass out. The rising sun is my silent battle cry. I am the remainder man, survivor of 1,000 black nights of hell. I've got rage and fury both up like that volcano in Yellowstone. What amazes me is how I can keep on being so fucking good all the time. When I lift, lift weights, I get so mad I try to break the weights. My spine is an animal that is residing in my body. Makes me do things I don't want to. Sometimes my thoughts are like a pack of maniacs that just busted loose from a mental institution. Violent, crazy, sad, anxious, confused, and all over the goddamn place. My mood swings like a guillotine. I can't stand still. I can't sit still. I'm always hot and the birds are sweating. Just sitting there, staring holes into the, through the wall. I can look right in your face and see all the way to the back of your skull. Go on the other side. Experience has ruined my life. My mind is on fire. I'm alone in my room, not by myself. I harbor great conflict inside myself. 
I tend to build fires, and then I stay away from them. I am 1,000 contradictions. In my room, I am a whole pack of goddamn liars. I'm done screaming love songs into the abyss. That's good. Go ahead. Reinforce the emptiness. Clarify the alienation. Suppress equality. Adversity at every turn. Every time. More hollowness. To expand my hollowness. These are some of the things solitary man contemplates, contends with, who sits alone in a room at 9 p.m. on a Saturday night with no music, no TV, no computer, no phone turned off. Door locked. Just one life in a room that's floorless. Every time I step inside, I drop into it, just swallows me whole. I think I just keep falling. Fucking handwriting sucks, man. This is old. This is old. This is, uh, this is, I think, from my 20s. This is from my. I don't want to hear about their little trials and tribulations, about their fucking car problems or fucking job that they hate. They'd rather complain than have the guts and confidence takes to leave and enter the real world and sail the seas of consequence. What the hell do they expect? How can they complain about being bored and unsatisfied with life when they surround themselves with mediocrity and complacency and a lifestyle that grinds them down and slowly drains them of their will to live? Why not be an outsider? Why not go about the whole thing differently? Too many people get caught up in the idea of how things should be. From how their family does or did it, how the neighbors or peers do things, or that how they have always seen things on TV, magazines, internet, tells them to. They listen and follow everything and anything that comes from an external source rather than listening to the one voice that matters, your own voice. What's even worse is people, most people, let others formulate their lifestyles for them and impose on them and ideas of right and wrong, good or bad, for them. From the toxins they they put they from the toxins they take the po that poison them to the jobs they hate to the unhappy marriages they want to leave to the kids they can't be bothered with. To the culture that bores them and dumbs them down. To the media that lies and misleads them. Well, they can have it all. And they can have my helping too. So basically the bottom line of the whole piece of writing is this. I'd rather, is that I'd rather go on my own ideas and fail horribly than to go their way and make it. I'm gonna go back to open mic for a minute. It's been a while. Good move forward here. Okay, okay. And then I do that like crazy. I go, and then I'm like addicted to the open mic thing. I try to go to one, you know, every night, you know, like all around the state. I just gotta get, I gotta learn to regulate. Oh, okay. well, it's fucked. Sorry, sure, I'm going the fuck out of me. So it's just, uh, I'm a, a maniac. It's just, it's just a maniac. And I was dancing before before this, like, I would, now my new thing is, uh, I've always done it. I just never hit record and had the camera on, you know, play the music and fucking your favorite, like, favorite music and uh, fucking, you know, and dance and go crazy to it. I've always done that, all that music therapy, man. It's the best. Yeah, I'd say fuck it. The only thing I can put out there. It's fun, really fun. I know you enough to know there's not much to you except lies and betrayal. You are an evil intentioned slut. I'm done losing myself to you. I see you clearly now. You are a clown. 
pathetic, cheap, nothing, hollow shell of a woman. You are a con artist supreme. I can't tell you how much I can't wait for it all to collapse and crash on you like it did to me. Only it will break your weak back. It made me stronger. I also know for a fact that you do not possess any kind of integrity or any decent worthwhile human qualities at all. All you know how to do is lie and fuck and ruin. Perhaps you should do the world a favor and jump out of a window. It feels just the same as the open mic. Because uh, I said, no, I'm uploading it not even fucking a minute after I'm done. No, I have to look at it. I'm not going to edit some more. That's the lazy thing to do. You know. It's going to take 15, 20 minutes to sit there and go, you know, at least watch it through once, you know. Uh, Sometimes I feel like a dead body or a shark. When people talk to me, they think I'm being a jerk, but I'm not. I'm just being, I'm just being. When, you, see, when one, you see, when one is filled with self-hatred and is in contempt of life, one cannot do anything beneficial for others. I can't seem to handle affection, love, or friendship. All three confuse, frustrate, and destabilize me. I understand the language of... Brick walls perfectly fucking clear though. Yeah. Silent on the outside. From 2019, I dated this one. Silent on the outside. I'm holding in a scream. Lonelier than light inside a black hole. You don't know savage like I know savage. I am becoming more familiar with myself and more strange to them. I can tell by the way they look at me. I wish I knew someone I could talk to. I wish I wasn't such a weak fuck. I sound pathetic. I should feel lucky for the very fact that I'm alive, but I don't. Most of the time I feel nothing at all. Stick to the plan. I have tried to love, and all it did was destabilize me. I felt swindled. Now I see it was my desperate loneliness that drew me to her. To know true ugliness is to know the truth of yourself. Many are spared this fate in life. Every time I don't humiliate myself, I get stronger. Staying away from that which would destroy me is to possess a small victory. It seems the thing, things that I want are those that come with great danger of hurting me in ways that I cannot cope with. The pain of loneliness can be great, but nothing compared to the wretchedness of humiliation and abandonment. I've hated myself for my cowardice, but at the same time, I compliment myself for not walking willingly into the slaughterhouse, thinly disguised as shelter. I'd rather walk through a moonless night on a frozen wasteland crust. Holy shit, are you fucking kidding me? What the fuck? Okay, now this is definitely, I know this was from 93. Uh, this is the actual piece, though I have it. Because so, I did it on my typewriter. I can't believe this stuff stayed with me for as many videos as I kept it. I'm not even hope oh, that's a whole video of itself. All right, this is uh, from March 25th, 1993. Ooh, how I hate the cock sucking, backstabbing bastards. All of them. All of you. I wish I could have punched you in the mouth when you said all of your bullshit. But as usual, you were on the phone. But that's okay. I will not let you win. I'll get you. I know I will, because you're a weak little piece of shit. Fuck you. I don't care how this sounds. Why? 
fuck you and your endless bullshit. I know what to do, and that is to avoid your bullshit infected mouth and think of ways to make myself stronger than you. Keep to myself. That takes true strength. Oh, what would you know about that? Strength is alien to you, as I also am alien to you. Well, I'm tempted to be more. What was it? Um, is that 15 already? No, that's maybe next time I'll stick to my time limit on my fucking schedule, right? My, thank you. My name is Jason. I'm just getting started. I have 